What's up, y'all? Tyler and Brian here. We're here with George and his buddy Victor from the Pitmaker team. Uh, about to put the smoker to use. We got the professionals here that built this thing. They'd been touring around, have a couple competition teams. And, they have uh, a grill master team. It's yeah, crazy. It's winning legit. competitions. We're gonna take lessons from uh, our two buddies here tonight, and uh, they're gonna show us how, how it's supposed to work. First thing you do is you throw down with our favorite fuel, things for the course. We're throwing in about uh, seven pounds of this. Basically, you want to build an L-shaped tile um, across one side and the back. Okay. okay. And uh, it's not an l shape right now, but we're going to form it into yeah. one with our hands here. This is a vertical insulated smoker, so it's extremely fuel efficient. You get That'll give you about eight hours of cooking time. 250 degrees, eight hours. Wow. Just kick back, get, throw your spice meat on there, and just kick back and ha have a cold one with your buddies and uh, entertain, you, entertain yeah. your friends. Yeah. Like, <laughs> easy way to cook, right here, barbecue ball. Four or five minutes doing this. Victor is seasoning the smoker right now. We sprayed it down with some oil. If about any high temp cooking oil will work. And he's using a torch to kind of heat that oil up and cause it to bond and protect that steel, just like you would an iron skillet. And then we're actually gonna light it and then let it cook for about 20, 30 minutes. And then we're gonna throw some meat on. So you, you only light that one corner? One corner. Really? So that way one cat is not catching to another. That's what we like kids for. Because kids, kids were the same size precisely. You yeah. can repeat the recipe. You can trust the barbecue pit, you just leave it alone. Yeah. You don't have to make it see this barbecue pit. Light it up, set it, forget it. Yeah. Here we go. A couple questions for you. Come on with them. What's the craziest thing you've ever made on the grill, man? Your favorite thing? Uh, we'll have to say brisket. With brisket? It, yeah, ribs come pretty good though, but we recently got grand champion brisket on the largest cook-off on Texas, which is San Antonio. Oh, it was wow. 281 teams. Wow, and y'all y'all got y'all placed in the competition, right? Not just we placed, we destroyed them. We got yeah, baby. We yeah. got first place by Grand hey. Champion Brisket. George, what does it take to make a trailer just like ours? Well, how do you do that? It takes passion. It takes passion. We start with play steel and tubing and do the rest. Okay. Uh, for a true metal fabrication company with 30 years combined experience, yeah. we take everything we learn in the competition circuit cooking ourselves and apply it to our designs. That's awesome, man. What uh, what are some of the competitions y'all's teams have been in across the country? Uh, Pitmaker Pits have been used in everything from the Houston Livestock Train Rodeo, the American Royal, first place ribs, one of the American Royal, 500 teams, a uh, year before last. The Memphis in May, barbecue cook-off, yeah, yeah, World Championship barbecue cook-off. Yeah. Uh, the largest in the nation, Jack Daniels World Championship barbecue cook-off. Hopefully many FGL shows to come. That's right, right? that's right. Many <laughs> FGL shows. There you go. So you guys, you guys make these grills, which blows my mind. What's the uh, what's the most tricked out grill that you guys have made? It's a pretty hard answer uh, question to answer because every single trailer that we make, you know, we're trying to make better than another one. But right. every single customer has different needs. For example, I'll give you an idea. We did the trailer for the LSU. Customer he was crying when they pick him up. We have another one that he is big fan of John Wayne. Oh, and wow. the guys just start hugging and kissing the barbecue pit. Oh, wow. <laughs> so unfortunately I wasn't here whenever you guys see the trailer to see what was your oh, reaction. Man. We were expecting a big like a, a big rusty yeah, barrel. We had no idea. We thought that's what we were getting and when we got we that it was like no, no Wow, this is gonna be an awesome summer. So thank you guys so much man. You guys rock. You got everything. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you, brother. Yeah, let's rock it. Let's do fire it, it up. Yeah, it. Time to get the ribs on. Like today, pits at 260. The ribs are spiced up and ready to go. Add a little bit of smoke flavoring to start out with. This is all you need right here. A little bit of smoke. Let's go along with our perfect briquettes and uh, watch the magic happen. <laughs> there you go. Big end towards the rear. There you go, just like that, man. All right, good job. All right, I'll show you how this is done right here. Back with BK from the Florida Georgia Live Band. Uh, Don't forget that rack. We're gonna check the ribs on the Kingsford pit. <laughs> just checking the color. I'll open the door up a little bit more. Nope. Be careful. There you go. Those have some beautiful color, man. Pretty good. How Almost done. Getting close. Getting close. You're talking to a real pro here tonight. <laughs> wow! The real nice. pros are holding nice. the cameras. We good? <laughs> they look good, man. They look awesome. Really good. Yeah. The finishing touch. Fire up 
the grill, do a little caramelization on those ribs, and uh, make a happy crowd right here. For his first reaction, oh boy. Florida Georgia line oh boy. on the ribs. <laughs> okay. Woo! I want to do this for a living now. Police, did you get yours? Hey, you gotta do though. Get your plate. You gotta do already though. You kind of are. You are. Awesome, man. Guys, what do you think of these ribs? Best I've ever eaten. Best I've, not even close. Best I've ever had. What, what do you think of these ribs? I'm not joking. I'm going to let Elise. Elise. <laughs> really? <laughs> A flavor explosion in your mouth? Hey. <laughs> That has been the catchphrase of the evening. Flavor explosion in your mouth. Holy yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. Wow. Best ribs we've ever that. had <laughs> ever. They rocked it for us. They showed us how to do it. See. Hey, we got about a hundred happy people here that just tasted the best ribs ever. Thank you, Pit Maker. You guys rock. You guys rock. We love you. You're coming to Houston, right? Party, baby. Absolutely. Woo!